Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing good out there. I'm doing just great. This video is going to be a little bit different from the normal videos that I do, but it's still going to be guitar related. So as you're looking at a YouTube channel called Guitar Kit World, something that I just found the other day because these guys left a compliment comment on my channel on the last kit that I ended up building. So I am going to be purchasing one of these guys' kits uh, in the future. Actually, it will be the next build that I'm going to be doing. It will be from these guys. But... Um, They've got such a variety of kits that uh, I'm not too sure of which one I want to build yet. But kind of looking over the photos and watching some of the videos that they have on their YouTube channel um, kind of is a little bit of a inspiration to help others as far as wanting to build kits. So that's why I'm doing this video. So Guitar Kit World, this is their YouTube channel and as you can see they have got a lot to offer as far as building kit guitars and this looks like that this is all their own product that they are reviewing as doing builds. So another thing I wanted to kind of see was well you know are these actual kits that they're building from their own stuff or is this a, another channel that is just building kit guitars you know and showing them off no this is actually these guys building their own product and let's switch over to their website all right so I jumped over to guitar kit world's website which is also on their YouTube channel as far as whatever kit that they're working on or building um, the link for that kit will be in the description but you can go to their website and click on you know all kick it what's in stock whatever and you can get a list of everything what's pretty cool about this is that and up in the corner if you noticed on the uh, right hand that there was a little window that popped up you can actually see that these guys are actually doing pretty good as far as selling kits so there must be something about their kit that uh, is you know quality so you know again another one uh, kind of bought another kit and uh, yeah so me doing these guys a kind of a shout out video or whatever probably isn't really doing them too much of a favor as far as business goes but I kind of want to let you guys know that there are more options than eBay and you know other websites that I've seen where there are low quality uh, low quality kit guitars that you know are probably you know a little bit more work than what they really should be and again you know the more you spend for a kick guitar the better the quality is going to be although glue is an issue with a lot of binded guitars you know anything that has binding around the fretboard around the headstock around the body um, that seems to be an issue where glue happens to leak into the wood and the wood absorbs it now it's stuck there although acetone works pretty damn good as far as removing that and I've showed in some of my videos of how to do this um, and still be able to put dyes and stains on your guitar to have a nice finish now this is their website they have a large variety of different kick guitars and I was kind of thinking maybe doing a maybe a Telecaster I'm not too sure so they have everything from uh, spalted maple, maple veneers um, uh, let's see quilted maple veneers uh, rosewood fretboards ebony fresh fretboards uh, maple fretboards um, you can get a flame maple veneer or no veneer at all on these kits if depending on what you choose and what you like now they do have the headstocks that are already pre-cut or like in this case here you can get a paneled headstock which you know I don't care about the paneled headstocks although you can cut and shape them out yourself um, it's kind of one of those things where how do I want it to be shaped you know what type of design do I want to carve into the wood am I carving too much out of the headstock uh, by removing you know part of that pedal and making the headstock weaker you know you have those questions so I I built the ones that have the pedal headstocks they're not bad um, coming up with the design is kind of a pain in the ass but 
as long as you don't cut too much meat off of them, you should be pretty good. So this is one example. Now I want to go to something that has some binding on it. So as you can see, there are quite a few different kits here. Um, let's see here. Well, I am a sucker for a quilted maple. So let's go over here. All right. So you are looking at their alder body telecaster kick guitar with a quilted maple veneer now don't be afraid of maple veneers or any type of veneer as long as you are kind of um, light-handed when you're sanding veneers down to apply a finish to um, or smoothing them out a little bit as long as you use a lighter grit sandpaper and stuff you shouldn't have too much of a problem with going through that veneer like I really personally wouldn't use 220 grit hand uh, sandpaper on a veneer because of the way that that uh, how aggressive 220 is and the material that it is uh, you know veneers are very thin and you're just making it a lot thinner so I was looking at this kit here and it's like okay well you've got a you know instead of having your uh, three saddles you know it's got a six saddle on a telly which is kind of nice you got uh, two single coils. It comes with basically everything that you need to do a kit. Well, here's the kicker, all right? So this is a binded body. Ah, glue right here, right there, right where the, uh, the little hand is. And as you can see, too, that they are stamped with Guitar Kit World's own uh, branding. So I'm not too sure where they come from. Uh, I'm going to go check out the About Us to maybe they'll explain it. But this is kind of a common problem right here where you see on every kick guitar that has a binded body, you'll find some glue. So this possibly right here is a little bit of glue on the horn. I know for a fact right there it is glue. But it's a nice looking kit. It doesn't look that bad. And when you kind of look at, see how the pick guard lines up and, and everything else, well, it's basic kick guitar, okay? Now, for the price of this at two nineteen, um, that's actually not bad of a price. You know, there, there's people that will pay like sixty dollars for a kick guitar and end up with uh, crap. All right, I mean just crap. Now, one of the kits that I was looking at, where is she? You got zebra stripe bodies. One of the kick guitars I was looking at, and I'm not too sure of where I found it at. Maybe it's right over here. Uh, yes, they do have bass guitars as well. Where are you? Maybe it's on the second page. So as you can see, I don't know if you saw that, you can get three humbuck humbucker settings. You can have a uh, dual humbucker, single coils, depending on the body type and guitar kit that you're buying. Here is a uh, JGS right here that has a two singles and a humbucker, gold plated uh, hardware. Now this one here is not a binded guitar so you're not going to see glue around the edges like you would. And this is kind of typical of a kick guitar if you can kind of see that the curve over here kind of varies a little bit. Well you're going to have to sand it. You're going to have to make that curve true in order to have a nice looking kit. So this is the kit that I was thinking about getting right here. So it's got a uh, flame maple veneer on the top and an ebony fretboard, which, you know, looking at it, it it's not bad. This is actually a, looks like a pretty decent kit. So here's the body, and as you can see that there is no binding around the edges. So if I go over here and kind of get a close-up look, you know, you're not going to see that there's glue or anything around the edges because of how the route probably cleaned off a lot of the glue from the uh, veneer top as it was put on but as you can see it's got a, kind of a nice look to it and I was thinking about getting this one for a kit from these guys to see um, you know what they're about you know how difficult they are to build the type of problems that you're going to have and just looking at it it just has a a quality look to it you know I could be wrong but I don't want to be because this is the one that I'm 
probably going to be ending up getting. So let's go to the About Us. Let's see, About Guitar World. All right. Customer Reviews, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, all right. So let's go to the About. Thanks for dropping by. So what Guitar Kit World is about? Uh, so basic. So this has been... They've been a DIY instrument since uh, 2013. Um, our guitar kit assembly blog. Okay, that that's you'll find that on YouTube. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that there. That is one beautiful. That came from them. That's a kit from these guys. Oh, you know, like I said, I am a sucker for a quilt and a flame maple top. And this really jumps out at you. Ah, man, that is nice. So we have uh, strict quality control processes in place, marksmanship issues, missing parts, or defects are extremely rare. That's kind of nice because if you order a lot of these kits from China and shit, they could be missing something. Uh, Again, here is another build that looks fucking nice. So, it doesn't really say where their kits are coming from. Well, if they have a strict quality control and they're making sure that all the parts are there and everything that is needed to build a kit is in the box for that kit um that's kind of a good idea to do because well it's hard to get a hold of china the out you know china or whatever and say hey you know we're missing tuners here um can you shoot me some well, now you're waiting another seven weeks or so before that shows up. And right now, the way things are with shipping and from overseas, you may not even see it. So this is just a little bit of a you know different type of a kit guitar company that you guys can purchase from. Check them out yourselves. I know I'm going to. And I'm going to enjoy the build that I'm going to be doing from these guys because that's what I like doing and it's one thing to sit there and purchase a kit guitar get it open up the box and say oh my god what am I going to get myself into you find a mess of glue you find chips in it you find dents in the wood you find the neck has got a twist to it you, you're missing inlays you know an inlay pops out you know if you don't know what to do with that kit guitar uh, it's going to turn into a disaster when you try assembling it, especially if you are new to this. Now, as you can see here, start your DIY kick guitar project. Uh, these are links that are helpful to you to build your own kit. Uh, guitar kit assembly uh, tutorials and guitar kit reviews, guitar kit assembly manuals. So that's kind of nice because a lot of these kick guitars that you buy don't come with a manual or paperwork or anything besides the uh, order sheet when you place the order for the kit. They don't come with instructions. How do you know what to do? You know. So I will be purchasing a kit from these guys and I'm going to be purchasing the kit that I showed you. Um, I kind of like the, the shape of that body plus uh, I've been working with binding a lot so it's about time I work on something that doesn't have binding to it you know and as you can see up in the top melissa and she just bought herself a kit so these guys are doing pretty good and um i'm sure my little channel on youtube isn't really going to give these guys that much more as far as business goes but um i kind of like their product and it seems to be pretty decent as far as price goes and the quality of their kit looks a lot better than in their photos than what I have seen in person. So you guys take it easy, have a good one, and enjoy your builds.